India's national capital, New Delhi, is set to vote for a new government on Saturday. It is being seen as a close race between former allies, the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party's Kiran Bedi and the Aam Aadmi Party's Supremo Arvind Kejriwal. Take a look. India's Bharatiya Janata Party sees social activist and former top cop Kiran Bedi's message of tough social order enforcement as a winner. Her opponent Arvind Kejriwal of the Aam Aadmi Party or Common Man's Party has run as a voice against everyday official corruption. But Ms. Bedi's high octane stump style promising the safety of women on Delhi streets has won some voters over. It's prime issue after a deadly 2012 gang rape of a young middle class woman who boarded a private bus service at night in a crime that shocked the city. <laughs> But a former aide in an anti-corruption campaign that pressured parliament to pass anti-corruption legislation in 2011 has also wooed voters with promises of water and electricity supply for low-income residents of the sprawling metropolis. He was Chief Minister of Delhi in 2013 for 49 days with outside support from the Congress party in a stint marred by infighting. Political observers said the race is leaning towards the Aam Aadmi Party. Kejriwal has gone from strength to strength. Uh, Kiran Bedi came at a level and for all the resentment within the BJP, it was felt that she would help consolidate the middle class vote for the BJP and she would have an appeal amongst the women voters because of her emphasis on women's security, which has emerged as a big issue. Now, somewhere that has not panned out the way it was expected. Kiran Bedi's last-minute entry has set all eyes on a polling day which is likely to impact national politics, whichever party wins. Avneet Arora for South Asia Newsline in New Delhi.